Okay, I'm back with the second video of the guess what house. As I mentioned in my last video, with my last words there was that we're starting to make a present floor plans plus idea project floor plans for the people. And the most important is not only to give the people real idea what it is, plus the sizes, the exact sizes, but at the same time it can show the people is this property are going to work out for them or not, which save much more time and trip eventually if they don't need to come. So now I'm going to show you what we have on the ground floor and then we have what we have on on the second floor. So then when I go out, I will tell you because the connection between the two floors are these concrete outside steps. Then I will show you what our idea is, how we can make it all this in one indoor staircase plus the plus all the premises. So here this is the ground floor and it's a proper hay ground floor by the way i can say it's not not a problem at all and it's proper proper hay and you don't need to go too much down if you want and there's a good sign of this is as i mentioned to you there is a problem over there some water comes in from this side where the road is because it's overgrown the gutters are not good and it's been done for many years and last one and a half months we had a lot of heavy rain so it's normal first of all i can't smell here any wet problems and moisture which i can't prove for you with a video because even if it's a smartphone even if it's an iphone it's not that much smart to make a smell as well to show you what kind of a smell is so i can't prove this but anybody will come you can see the only way i can prove it at the moment that there's no moisture in this room like a main problem comes underground is the floor you can see it's the floor and the floor is very dry i can go this way as well so you can see the floor, it's really very dry floor, you know, and it's a bit mess here, but if there is underground floor problem, water problem, you can't have this dry floor after a lot of such of rain. So here we have soil, because this here, this is the main beam. It's really good and strong beam. This one is not supporting beams at all. This one just being put here to make a separate premise with a mud brick wall and the present owner re removed this with an idea to make it one open space otherwise you can see it's all very proper you know this one is not supporting you can move it anyway the most the main beam is this one beam and it's strong and it's not rotten it's in a very good condition and we can see all the way how it's look and how thick it is and all the other beams are in a really good condition they're just painted black you can make it white and you can put here a proper living room with a kitchen and diner in this wonderful place with this is a beautiful double oven place i can't show very properly because of this uh, this wardrobe or whatever these shelves here being put so you can see here a proper proper with a nice chimney by the way and the chimney is in a good condition sorry i don't know why my video is like this uh, maybe the camera is not a bit, it's a bit foggy, but it's a proper oven and it's still good condition. I can see, you know, you move this and you, all this space, you can convert it to a proper living room with a kitchen and diner over there, for example. Uh, look at the beams here again, I'll show you. So they're in a good condition, no moisture, no white color. The moisture is coming with a white color, usually, you know, like, yeah. And it's not smell wet at all, at all. That's why I'm saying it. Look at the condition. Doesn't look with the problems. And a big, big, big beams. Really good one. So we can see some mud here. What wet mud. This is where the water comes from, mainly. From somewhere here. Yeah. And goes up here. This is because of the, the water level. The, the, the ground level is somewhere like the finish of this stick. You know, and all this comes here because of these gutters and overgrown down here. Otherwise, look at the walls. No problems, no twisted walls. Good condition. Really, really good condition. So this down could be a proper living room with a kitchen and diner. And I'll just show you once again from here. So you can see the one big open space. Remove these sticks where the prem is being separated. And then will be perfect only one main beams from here the idea is if you if you take off level this one start from here and make it to that level this one to make it to that level 
it's good up to there up to here so up to up to here sorry i can up to here and here remove this and make a proper proper roof you know and put put the door here put the door here make a put like a patio doors and here you can put uh, windows and doors make another door here to access to the garden put the wall here then the roof you can extend this roof down there and connect it with this one okay so i'll move here now to be much more clear because this sun is cause a lot of problems so put a proper roof here connect it with this one put a wall there and here you can put a wall or you can put a windows face to the living area garden you know and in this way you close this and make part of the house downstairs like these steps will be inside because you'll have a wall here finish here door for the access and another another wall here with the windows or just the open windows all the way and another door there in this case this steps going inside and will be the access to the second floor from inside and here next to the step there is an interesting premise this one is a nice l shape like a storage at the moment but i can say it's wide enough and it could be converted to a proper bathroom with a shower here here the shower area nice it's really good here and it's finished there so you can put a shower there you know and if you want you can put even a bath here and this to be the entrance to the bathroom with some shelves here close this proper shelf for some stuff like shampoos and things like this so in this case you're going to have this closed and you have the steps inside plus you're going to have this toilet and bathroom so the steps you can plaster them paint them whatever you want to put and up above this bathroom downstairs you can put another bathroom here the same shape like this way l-shape bathroom to repeat the floor the plan of the bathroom downstairs and you can put here so you can keep only this as a bathroom and make this to a wet room remove all these things from here and you have this proper bathroom there with a wet room which is good so close the area there i think this is a good idea and we will have this on uh, our new new ideas with a new idea project plan so here upstairs in this case if we make a toilet and bathroom downstairs and a toilet and bathroom here with a wet room which is big enough in my opinion then we can have three there is a tree at the moment it's a big huge corridor which i found a bit useless it could be a bit like narrow but anyway most important good floors you know and we have one we have two we have three bedrooms but let's go and see this bedroom this bedroom is very small in my opinion it's 2.40 and nothing you can't put even a bed here in my opinion i don't know why they made all these small rooms but have two windows by the way you know which is not bad let's have a look and see the other bedrooms and then i will share my idea with with uh, with with what we can do with these bedrooms and then you're going to see this on the plan we are starting to do for you this is the second bedroom the first one the second bedroom you can see similar size similar size nice good window by the way it's very high really good and high which is good so this room also is not big at all nice white oak wooden floor which is really really good really good then we go out to the corridor entrance first bedroom second bedroom and this is the biggest bedroom the longest one i can say you know so you can see that the previous the present owners tried to put some new electric wiring which i don't know for some people works for some people not so in my opinion it needs to be redone anyway so this is the biggest bedroom you can see the floor as well is good so there's no question and the height of this ceiling that's really good so what i'm thinking is good this wall can be removed and this wall the whole wall of this 
room, this wall can come up to here. All the way, come up to here. In this case, you will extend this room to the size here. So it will be one big room. Then put, then put the wall with the door, with the door here, and this will be the access to this room. Then from here, where the wall, where the wall of this room will finish, we'll start remove this wall, and the the bedroom there will start from here. So we'll make from this wall up to the end here. You can see from the window there up to here this will be the second bedroom which will be a really proper size so it's better to make two proper two bedroom proper size uh two proper bedroom size house instead of keeping these small three bedrooms i think it's it makes sense for you i don't know why it's a bit foggy the video today maybe the camera or the phone okay so clear one move this wall up to the window make the other room wider and Start from the window up to here, make this room longer. This is the perfect, in my opinion. I think that's it. You can see the ceilings, not bad before we finish. No spots, wet, which means conformation of the roof, good condition. Yeah. And the proof that it's a mud brick walls, but good one. This has been taken off because being put a new electric or whatever the beams here you know so and the ceilings here okay so you're going to see our floor plans present floor plans plus a project floor plans so it will be much more clear look at the video watch the video watch the photos then watch the floor plan and then you have a better better imagination this is what we're trying to do improve ourselves much more proper natural and much more clear for everyone you shouldn't be with a high secondary or the high school or university education to be good smart and to try to do your best see you later